So this leads me into uh, this one of the other big questions that's frequently asked online is whether you can use a, a 5.56 NATO cartridge, uh, the military version of the, uh, the M16 cartridge, if you can use that in a 223. Remember this, no, that's the only answer, no, you cannot. You can, but you may not. It's not, it, you cannot do it without uh, extreme danger. Um, there's a difference in the chambering. You can, you can take all the measurements from a 223 cartridge against a military uh, spec uh, NATO cartridge and they're identical. There's absolutely no difference whatsoever in the cartridge dimensions. The difference, however, is in the chambering and in the, and in the pressure specifications that are certified for the gun at hand. NATO cartridges uh, work at pressures of over 10 or 12,000 PSI greater than 223 cartridges. Just like when, just like when a uh, military fighter gets into his jet uh, and, he, and, and he pushes the, the afterburners home and his, you know, his engines start glowing and he's using up you know, pounds of fuel per second, he's running at full military power. And that's what the military does with, uh, with rifles too. They run at full military power with the M16. They're running, at, they're running at pressure levels that are way, way uh, at the very top. They can't be exceeded. The way they keep it under control is they use a long, what they call a free bore. The bullet has a long jump before it engages the rifling, and even the rifling lead is more shallow so that it doesn't engage abruptly. That's not the type of chamber that's in a 223 designated rifle. A 223 Remington chamber does not have a long lead. It has a very short bullet jump to maintain higher degrees of accuracy. The military is not even concerned about the kind of accuracy that you can get out of a 223. That's not their, that's not their modality. Their modality is to get a bullet out of that gun as fast as they can from a 14-inch uh, M4 and uh, to, to, to run it right up to the ceiling. And they use that free bore to keep the pressures under control. It basically gives the bullet a running start out of the, out of the cartridge case and until it hits, until it engages the rifling gradually. If you crowd that, if you crowd that, and you, and you, you've got two problems going on at the same time, both not good. If you take a, a 223 Remington chamber, which has a very short lead, it have, has a very short bullet jump, and you, and you put a NATO cartridge in that, you no longer have that, you no longer have that safety margin that was built in for military cartridges to, to keep the pressures under control. Now the pressures can be running right up through the roof. They can run far beyond uh, what the military would specify as a safe load for their M16s. To make matters worse, the 223 pressure limits are significantly less than the 5.56 NATO cartridge pressure limits. They're entirely different. They're not in the same ballpark whatsoever. Every firearm, that's, every firearm that's made, each and every one, they're not pulled like one out of five or one out of a dozen out of, a, out of an assembly line. Every single one that's fired goes into a, a proof testing chamber and a, proof, a, a certified proof tester in that facility uses certified proof loads, which are special loads which are made by Federal or, or Remington or whoever it is, whoever the, they contract. They, they get them by the pallets. I've seen this. There's pallets of them at the Ruger factory uh, and at the, at the Remington factory. That's all, the, that's all the proof tester does is he sits there all day and he sticks guns into a, into a cabinet. A, a, basically, it's a bomb-proof cabinet, and he fires those guns all day long. Um, you know, it's kind of a brain-rattling job. I wouldn't want it. Uh, but, but basically, he fires every single chamber with at least one proof load and sometimes more. Sometimes they run a whole magazine through a gun. Uh, and with re in the case of a revolver, they run every single cylinder uh, with a proof load. Those loads are far in excess of the standard industry uh, SAMI pressure. Did, and when a 223 Remington is proof tested, the proof tests are nowhere near as high as the proof tests for a uh, NATO chamber. So nobody can ever say uh, there's, no, there's nobody on earth can ever say that that gun was proof tested 
for a 5.56 NATO round, and they certainly can't say that it was proof tested for a 5.56 NATO round that is running over spec because it has too short a chamber. So never confuse the issue. So again, can you fire a NATO round in a uh, 223 chamber? No, don't do it. Don't ask anybody online. There's nobody out there that can possibly give you an answer that's different than that because that's the truth. Now, here's another one that I've run across sometimes quite frequently um, with regard to the, the Mini, the Mini 14 ranch rifle. I've seen people get so confused about this. They get, they get all wound up. They, they read this thing here and it says on it, caliber 223, ranch rifle, caliber 223. And so it goes around uh, on the threads. Everybody will chime in with their two cents about, yeah, you can, no, you can't. I do it all the time. No, I wouldn't do it, and so forth and so on. <clears throat> there's, a, there's a funny little thing that comes with guns when you buy it. It's called, it's called the owner's manual. Read it. I know that the person is not illiterate because he's, he's typing a question, can I, shoot, can I shoot NATO stuff in my 223 uh, ranch rifle? And he'll, he'll, get all kind, he'll get every kind of answer in the book. If you turn to page, if you turn to the index in this, in this book, it says right here, let's see, turn to page ammunition, it says, it says right here. Nomenclature, ammunition. See where my see where my thumb is. Ammunition. All you do is you turn to the page, and right here it says ammunition. What does it say about ammunition? Wouldn't that be wouldn't that be something if somebody actually reads their owner's manual? You know, it's the it's the American thing to do. You know, read your read your Constitution, read your Declaration of Independence. Know what. Know what's going on. Read your newspaper. Don't just read the crap online. That's, that's not going to get you anywhere. The Ruger Mini 14 Ranch Rifles. Now remember, this is for this series. This is for the series which is applicable to the modern, the modern ranch rifles. If you have one of the older ones, then you, then you contact Ruger, go on their website, and it has under customer support, it has manuals. And you can get owner's manuals, right? You can download them on a PDF file right online. I know you can do it because you're, you're watching this right now. So you just simply do that. You get the, you get the applicable man, manual for uh, the rifle at hand. And if your computer goes down, pick up the phone and call Ruger or call Remington, call Winchester. These companies actually know about their, about their guns. It, it really stymies me that people write online about stuff they think that the manufacturer doesn't have a clue about the gun that he just built, as if he's somehow a, a third party to this, that he doesn't know. The Ruger Mini 14 ranch rifles are offered in two calibers, the 223 Remington, and then it says right in parentheses, 5.56 millimeter cartridge and the 6.8 millimeter Remington SPC. That, that was, this, this was printed back when that cartridge was, uh, that rifle was still being uh, made, which is not anymore. And that continues, the Mini 14 Ranch, it already answered the question right there, 5.56 milli millimeter. 5.56 millimeter is not a cartridge designation that's used in the SAMI specification for the 223 Remington. It says the Mini 14 Ranch and Mini 30 rifles are de designed to use either standardized U.S. military that's the very first thing it says, standardized U.S. military, that means mill spec, you know, or factory loaded sporting cartridges manufactured in accordance with U.S. industry practice, that would be SAAMI. Always be careful to ensure that you, you are using the correct ammunition for your rifle. See ammunition and warning below. Now, and it also says up here, the target model, if you have a target model, the one that's got the bulbous, you know, uh, harmonic adjuster on the front. That uses 223 Remington cartridges only. That answers all the questions. So this is why I'm, I'm only trying, I'm not, you know, 
I just want you to understand that if, you, if you're looking for credible information, the most credible information you can get is published data. That's what it's published for, and, it's, and most of the time it comes for free. When you, get a, when you get a gun from anybody these days, any dealer who sells something these days, they protect, they protect their hind ends like crazy. They have you sign a piece of paper and check off the block. I got a copy of the owner's manual. I will read the owner's manual. I understand that I should read the owner's manual. The owner's manual, that's what they want you to do. Read the owner's manual. It's, it's, not, it's not a bad thing to do, you know. Uh, just because it says on the top of the barrel, read the owner's manual, doesn't mean don't read the owner's manual because it's on the, you know, you, it means you're a dope. It means read the owner's manual. So that's simple as that. Um, 